place opened in 1939, it only held 7,500 people. 70 years later, it holds nearly 12 times that. We're live at Jordan-Hare Stadium in Auburn, Alabama. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Arkansas has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That makes it second and six. From their own 31-yard line. Second down. Larry, Larry, Larry. Larry, <laughs> Quick out to his receiver. And down he goes at the 36. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Fires out to his wideout. And they make the stop at the 45-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. the 45 yard line first down quick throw out to the receiver he's at the 30 knocked out of bounds at the 26 yard line that's pretty impressive accuracy is important but just as important as having receivers that can make plays First and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. to go. Ball on the 26. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Number four with the reception. Call it a loss of seven yards on the play. Fourth down. Marshall, he'd like to change field position with this punt. Touchdown. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Burke's a guy that when you talk to him, you just think, you know what? He loves this. He loves the fact that it's a hostile environment. The crowd is on his case. He knows he's going to get double teamed. He just wants to go out and play. He does. I, I think he comes alive because of, you know, whether it's the fans or, or the team that, uh, that he's playing against on the road or challenging him seems to bring out the best in him. I, I think he feels threatened. And when you're the superstar on an offense and you're on the road, the crowd and that defense are going to be coming after you. And over the weeks, we've seen him really step up his game. And we'll see if he can do it again today. And a quick throw. And he's taken down at about the 43-yard line. First down. From their own 43-yard line. It's first down. Check 
He's scrambling. Breaks one. Tackle right around the 46-yard line. Straight in the middle, and he meets the defense. No game on the play. That makes it 37. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. He was tackled immediately. And they back up three yards on that play. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a game of five on the play. That'll make it second and two. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Seven yard line. First and ten, ball on the forty seven. Three-yard line. From the twenty-three-yard line, first down. It, and that's all. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. And that's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. And he's tackled around the nine yard line. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. On the delay, and he's brought down immediately. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way, the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. It out. Touchdown, Tigers! This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. And he adds the extra point. A seven-play, 73-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Auburn to kick this one off, and it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Yeah, 
Makes it out to about the 43. That makes it first and 10. From their own 43-yard line. First down. Makes it to the 47. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. tackled right away. Really, there's not much more the defense could do here. They had outstanding coverage. It was just good execution from the quarterback making the right throw and the receiver going up and making a catch. From the 36-yard line, it's first down. They'll bring him down around the 38-yard line. throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. Morris, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and 12. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. And it goes out of bounds at the five-yard line. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. They're about four yards away here on second down. Auburn is up by a touchdown. Nice run up the middle. And he carried that one for a few yards. You know, when you have a guy that can grab five yards or so consistently, it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game. made around the 26 yard line that's good for a game of nine yards. That brings up second it's second down nine. now and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker five wide they'll wrestle him down in the backfield no gain that'll make it third and one Nice pitch and catch for the first down. And down he goes at the 34. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 34. He gets out to about the 44 yard line. to scramble but he's sacked yes, yes, that is a loss of six on the play that. that'll make it second and long that. defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation Auburn up seven points he's on the run makes it out to about the 46 And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Four down, four down. 31's the mic. Down. And 
he's immediately tackled. Both offenses try to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. 7-0, Auburn. Pitches it. He gets to about the 24-yard line. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. He fights forward to about the 23. That's a gain of one on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. They've been two for two on third downs on this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Hudson was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and inches. Right, right, right. Pull out there, check the outs out there. Four down, four down. 31's the mic. Three down. Set to go. And he is drilled at the 20. This is the 14th play of this drive. Is up a score. Caught and he's hit immediately. That brings up second from the 19 yard line. Second down. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. And he's stopped behind the line. Call it a loss of one yard on the play. That brings up third. And this is the 16th play of the drive. Tight end right. Go down, go down. Hey, check Mike 27. Check Mike 27. Go down. They hand it off. They got to him, and he did not get the first down. The defense might have gotten a little bit lax there, but they were still able to prevent the first. Fourth down, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. Worked for him last time. He gets out to about the nine yard line. And this is the 18th play of the drive. And he tackles him hard at the nine. No gain. That brings up second and goal. Second down and goal. Do Nine yards to the goal line. There he goes. Touchdown, Auburn.
The offense didn't get the playoff in time. Delay of game, offense. And he hits the PAT. A long 19 play, 97 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. They'll get him for a loss. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball in the 23. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a gain of five on the play. That makes it third and seven. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Gain of three on the play. Fourth down. And they're coming after this punter. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He goes out of bounds at the 49. That's a game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Right around the 48-yard line. That is a loss of three yards. That'll bring up 36. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Razorbacks have got to find a way now to get the football in this guy's hands. And I think about basketball players and a jump shooter. You can't get him the, the ball, get him to the free throw line, get him one free one from 15 feet. Or... I agree with you 100%. And this is one of those games where the defense has just been suffocating. They've taken this wide receiver out of the game. Uh, this offense has not been able to come up with some answers. I would continue to fight as an offensive coordinator and a play caller to find different ways to get this receiver a touch. And all it takes, Brad, as you said, is just one play to maybe create that spark and get this confidence established for this offense. And he's taken down around the 24-yard line. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 24. And a quick throw. He's to the 40, the 50, and he's tackled around the 44-yard line. What a huge letdown by the defense on a big third down play. Man, that is just inexcusable. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and 10. Mike check, 33. Back. 
He's hit and taken down. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Scrambling around. He's tackled around the 23-yard line. Gain of eight on the play. That'll bring up second and They three. need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He's on the run. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executing. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Mark check, 33. 33. Caught him, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. It's the ninth play of the drive. Pass incomplete. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Here's the pitch, and now the ball is free. It's picked up to the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Razorbacks.
He splits the uprights with the extra point. Reed has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 27. This offense has got to try to pull it all together now after the fumble cost them six points just moments ago. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you, but it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. He laterals the ball. Tackle that side after a nice pickup. So he picks up about five on the option to the halfback. It's second and five here. Ball on their own 32. Auburn is up by four. Looks left, finding his tailback, and down he goes at about the 35. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. They'll bring him down right around the 40. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40. And they got him. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Make it second and long. third down here and this time it's third and long screen pass he's got his half back brought down around the 39 yard line Arkansas will take a timeout that's their first of the half Woods is back deep to return Woods takes it the 21, and he's taken down at the 28-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And they get the sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Sack makes this a second and long. to the receiver. He gets hit out of bounds at the 28. Folks, that's the end of the first half, and this game's getting interesting. Well, the Tigers lead it by four. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Defense has been dominant in this game. Yards very hard to come by. But David, as we get deeper and deeper into this game, the natural assumption is that the pressure goes to the offense to do something. Yeah. How much pressure is on the defense not to make that catastrophic mistake? Well, that, that's, the, that's the conundrum you get it. I mean, it makes it exceptionally tough because you want to play perfect and you want to get them to punt every single time, but it's not the way it works. And it's those big plays that you usually see that kill the defenses and break their backs. And you can hold them great, Reese, on first down, second down, it's third and long. You're in a perfect situation. 
You give up that one play for 80, and it changes the whole complexion of the game. So I think you got to have a little bit of both. It can't just be great defense the whole time. Usually the teams that play great defense can keep you in it, but only for so long. At some point, that offense has to get something going. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Red and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Tackle made right around the 28-yard line. Second and seven. Ball on their own 28. Got an opening. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. Call a gain of 16 yards. First down. the 43. Second down and 11. Ball on the 43. He tackles him for a loss. Journey fumbles a football. It's scooped up and it's a lineman that's got it. He's taken down at the 37. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Turn the ball. I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. But boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. They're ready to begin another drive. Auburn is up four. Run right, hit in the backfield. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup and come out a bit more motivated next time. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 25-yard line. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Number 47 was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and 12. Tighten up, tighten up. Pull together. He passes it. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Initially, it was called a catch, but now we're going to find out for sure if he at least had one foot in and possession of the ball before he went out of bounds. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. Marshall awaits the snap. He 
He's at midfield. And down he goes at the 46. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Receiving team. So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. From their own 31-yard line, it's first down. And he hits him hard at the 34-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. He makes his way to about the 48. Gain of 14 yards. That makes it first We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 48. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. Big opening to the 10. Touchdown. Huge play. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. Looks like they didn't get the playoff quick enough. Arkansas is up two. And he tacks on the extra point. 
A short three play, 68 yard drive. And the result, seven points. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense looking more and more explosive. So the score now, 17 14. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 30. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he's tackled at the 41-yard line. From their own 41-yard line, first down. Gains his way to midfield, make it 100 yards rushing for him. Let me remind everybody that this guy is only a freshman. So if he's doing this now, can you imagine what he's going to be doing in a few years? Tackle at the 47. Did somebody miss an assignment there? I mean, this kid came in untouched. I don't know if it's the wide receiver or maybe the tight end. Somebody's got to be able to block that corner. He's going to make plays all day. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Four down, four down. 30 was the mic. He delivers. And he got it for the 20. Touchdown. Big play. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. It makes for an easy completion when you've got a guy who's that wide open. And he converts the extra point. Carlson has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both these offenses stepping up and answering the bell. Who's going to blink first here? <laughs> exactly right. I've just been impressed with the way they've been able to execute. I mean, there's, there's a lot of pressure on them. Anytime you're feeling that the other offense can put points up on the board, there's a tendency to want to press. Neither one, neither one has done that up to this point, and right now it's going to come down to who can continue to execute and put points up. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Nice run there. Smith gets about four yards on the play. Gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a gain of four on the play. Third down. Check. Tight right. Tight right. Tight right. Pull it out there. Check the outs out there. Four down. Four down. Hey, check my 33. <laughs> nice run up the middle. So the halfback picks up the first down there with that six-yard gain. Another good run from this running back. Let's see if he continues to get his carries as they continue with his drive. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice gain. A nice seven-yard gain on the option keeper. That'll bring up second and three. go with the run and he's taken down behind the line they couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage on that one well, I don't think they did a very good job of selling the pass the defense was able to read the play and come right in there and make a nice stop and here's another third down got his man can't tack on any yardage
can't hang on to the ball. He just couldn't pull that one in cleanly. And Brad, that's what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. This was an error that should have been avoided. The main thing is they got the ball back, and now they can go to work on offense. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Auburn is up by four. A yard, if that, on the quarterback keeper. That makes it third and three. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That is money in the bank. Sometimes you just can't stop a good combination. From their own 33-yard line, first down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Brought down around the 32-yard line. You don't have the tight end here to help out with pass protection. But if you can get the linemen to bite on the run fake like they did here, it works out just as well. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. They got him for a loss. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. You're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. The Tigers, wide receiver, we hope can make a comeback and get back in this ball game. Went out with that injury a little bit earlier. And he's taken down around the 30-yard line. So they go to the air and pick up six. It's a well-designed play to the halfback, and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. Jackson, the intended receiver on the play. That makes Fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Auburn holds a four-point lead. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he splits the uprights. Carlson has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Makes the grab and steps out right away. That's a game of 12 on the play. First down. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. Got an opening. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Given there's nowhere to run. From their own 48 yard line, it's second down. They'll bring him down around the 49 yard line. That makes it third and eleven. He 
steps out at the 45. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Arkansas is the team that nobody gave a chance today, but they're right where they want to be. I think just the mindset of this football team, they need to be complimented for that because it's easy to come in, be a bit intimidated, be a bit overwhelmed. They put that to the side, gone out and executed, and I think the longer they've stayed in this game, the more confidence that it's instilled. And down he goes around the 19-yard line. That'll bring up second and 11. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 19-yard line. That's three down and one to go. Auburn's lead is a touchdown. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Auburn is up a score. And they make the stop around the 20 yard line. That brings up third and 10. It's third and 10. Ball on the 20 yard line. Tackled after a decent pickup. Call it a gain of four yards. That'll make it fourth and six. Woods is back deep to return. Tackle at the 44. Pretty good job by the return man there. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And now he's got room to run. Tackle made at the 37. That's good for a gain of 19 yards. That makes it first and 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37. He's tackled at the 41. This guy's out of the stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block. They found out right here on this play. He's under some heat. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. Slides down. This is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. First down. From the 18 yard line. First down. He's on the run. He's taken down at about the 13. He scrambles and picks up five. That brings up second and five. And that sets them up with a first and goal. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. Well, this is it. They've got all four downs to get in the end zone. And he's tackled at the two. Nothing there on the keeper. You're not going to be able to get by a sure tackler like this linebacker too often. Touchdown, Razorbacks. A short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. 
He makes the PAT. A seven-play, 57-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. It can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. Good game, 24-24. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. At the very least, they've got to get into field goal range. Once they've done that, they can think about taking a few shots into the end zone. Got a man, watch out here. Knocked out of bounds around the 38-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Number seven brings him down at the 39-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Up the middle for a nice game. From their own 43-yard line, it's third down. He goes out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. Fourth down. Marshall to punt. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. He can run. Makes it out to about the 49. Gain 15 on the play. That makes it first and 10. From the 49-yard line, the first down. He laterals the ball, and he's level at the 48. Pickup of a yard for the tailback. That makes it second and eight. Double tight, guys, double tight. Four down, four down. Hey, check by 33, check by 33. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's at the 30. He's knocked out of bounds around the 21-yard line. That'll push him over the 100-yard mark in receiving. We had a chance to talk to the coaches before the game, and they just raved about this guy's hands and his presence as a receiver coming out of the backfield. From the 21-yard line, it's first down. Going to the end zone. Touchdown for the tight end. I like how the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 28. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. Well, they have a little bit of time, but I think it's very crucial that they get the ball in the end zone on this possession. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. 
takes it right, and he can't get back to the line of scrimmage. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. It's second and 11, ball on the 27. Caught over the middle. Tackle at about the 27-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Woods is back deep to return the punt. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Great punt there to pin them deep inside their own territory. Yeah, a lot of times those punts will hop right into the end zone, but this time it didn't go anywhere. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. Well, you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. yard line second down Arkansas is up by a touchdown Carries the ball for a nice gain. A nice seven yard gain on the option keeper. That'll bring up third and inches. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open, and everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it, and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball, and it was incomplete. He's taken down at the 47. The Tigers were really mistaken if they looked at this game as a gimme. Oh, they've been in a dogfight the entire ball game. Let's see what they can do with this final drive. They still have time here to be able to pull out and try to get a win. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. That's a great tackle at the 31-yard line. and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. Just under two to go in the game. Trying to set up a little screen. Gets it to his tailback. Brought down around the 31-yard line. That brings up second and nine. That one's incomplete. I know that this quarterback and wide receiver were very confident they'd be able to execute this play. They worked all week long in practice on this play. The problem is the wide receiver got too close to the boundary, just didn't give himself or the quarterback's throw much of a chance to make the reception. He's looking for six, and it's intercepted. 
Oh, no. They really didn't need that. And as a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. you got to be more careful with the football. From their own 20-yard line, first down. They give to the tailback, and he's taken down at the 20. The Tigers taking their first time out of the half. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. Gets to around the 42. Auburn's going to have to use their second time out of the half. A minute to go in the ballgame. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Auburn will use their final timeout. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down around the 35-yard line. That's a gain of 18 on the play. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 35. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. Razorbacks. Coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team was able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.